Here we go. Come on. Well, oh, okay, maybe it was a loading. Get everything sorted. Let's collect that. Yes. That done. Alright, let's go to my duty officers. Grab one of this. Oh, hello. Oh, we got a whole bunch of more people. Sweet. I can buy one. Medical, military, recruitment, science. I think I have ammo. I don't have ammo tea. Damn it. Oh, got skills. Yes. Ah, I think we're looking good. Ah, I think we are. Hello. Hello. Sparky wanders in and Sparky wanders out. Starship, restoration, science. What else have I got my science? Wrong one. Alright, I've got my science one. She looks at times. Oh, 20.6. It's the same as that. I think we're looking good. Alright. Delta Quadrant. I think that's the one we're on, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Activation of the gateway at the heart of the Solonate Dyson Sphere has given us access to another Dyson Sphere, originally found near the Genelovian system that is now located deep in the Delta Quadrant. Roman Republic, the Federation, and the Klingon Empire have put aside their differences in order to unite against common enemies, but they need skilled captains and crews willing to join the fight. Travel through the gateway and contact you, me! Delta Command once you reach the Genolan Dyson Sphere in the Delta Quadrant. Alright, we're going to the Genolan.
Time to go to Janola system. Ooh. Incoming hail from Voyage, sir. Welcome to the Janolan Dyson Sphere. The situation in the Delta Quadrant is continuing to develop. We will need the assistance of all our Thank allies you this to stay ahead of it. I look forward to serving with you. Beam to Delta Quadrant Command. Look at the Dyson Sphere. They're massive. What's the command of Burgess? Oh. This is Lieutenant Commander Kyla Van Zyl in the shuttle Terra. Next. No, I'll still do an escalation. Commander Burgess. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. Hello. Would you have time sure. to look into something for me? Admiral Tuvok has requested that you meet Voyager in the Solaran system. I believe he requires your assistance with a personal issue. While you're there, you should be able to get a briefing on the current state of All the right. Delta Quadrant. Hello. Would you have time? I would. Go to the Sorellian system. Beam up, Kini. Uh, exit Janolian, Janolian Dyson Sphere. Delta Rising. I do love Star Trek Voyager. It's been 32 years since Voyager finished its journey. We thought we had left the Delta Quadrant behind us. We were wrong. The gateways to the Quadrant are open. And the choices we made have long-lasting effects. Now, we will help the friends we left behind. And fight the rising darkness. Voyager's first trip through the Delta Quadrant was a solitary one. We must return to set things right. This time, we must unite to survive. Oh! Uh -huh. Cerulean system. Mindscape. Do 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 do. Greetings. Admiral Tuvok is waiting for you in the conference room. Welcome aboard. And if I may say so, <laughs> it's good to see you again. Between Doomsday Devices and the Delta Quadrant, it looks like we get all of the interesting assignments. If you'll come with me, I'll take you to Admiral Tuvok. He Benzil. wants to see you right I away. to see you again. It's good to see you too. Someone decided that with our experience with that, uh, borrowed bird of prey, I'm the perfect person to handle joint operations with the Klingons out here in the Delta Quadrant. I even got a promotion. Can you as you can fill see. in a bit more what, what's going on here? What would you like to know? Unstable, but not totally out of control. 
The Borg have suffered setbacks on multiple fronts. They're being pressed hard by the Voth, the Undine, and various liberated elements. The Voth are mostly bottled up in their home space and in the Solene Dyson Sphere. We've established some connections with a few of the locals, such as the Kobali and the Talaxians. Of course, there are still troublemakers out here. The Kazon, the Herogen, the Malon, and there's a new power player we're very concerned about. Whoever they are, they're picking off systems left and right. Even the Krenim weren't a match for them. We need to find out who they okay. are and what they want. Why bring Voyager what would you like out here? To know? The ship is 30 years old. Voyager spent seven years in the Delta Quadrant, and during that time, many of her systems were optimized to deal with the hazards out here. This old girl's still got a few tricks. Hmm. Besides, Admiral Tuvok specifically brought Voyager out for this mission. And what the Admiral wants, the Admiral gets. You know what Admiral Tuvok what would you like to know? The Admiral is trying to track down Dr. Cooper. He thinks that Cooper is the key to this conflict with the Undine. He hasn't explained why yet, but he says that your Ooh. assistance is crucial. Let's what go. What would you like to know? Oh, hello. That was interesting. Yeah. Sorry we don't have time for a tour, but the Admiral insists he needs to speak okay. with you right away. Oh. The Admiral is waiting for you in the ready room. Admiral! Greetings. Thank you for coming so promptly. We do not have much time, and What's I require on? your assistance. I am still under telepathic assault by the Undine we know as Cooper. He has found some means to greatly increase his psionic power, and I cannot withstand his assault indefinitely. I will need your help to repel Cooper's attack and great counter him. Stress. What you else do you need to know? I have been able to deflect Cooper's attacks thus far, but I require assistance to repel him and gain any useful information. I propose initiating a Vulcan mind meld through which you will be able to enter my mind <laughs> and that aid sounds against dangerous. Cooper. What else do you Maybe need to know? Of a psionic master. Your prior experiences with Cooper should allow your subconscious mind to hone in on him. An outsider who has never encountered him before would have no such connection and could never hope to find I'll him. Try to do what I can. What I'll else? I'll get do you ready need? for the mind meld. My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Let us go back in time. What's going on? There's no sign of Tuvok or anyone else. It looks like I'm alone in the mindscape. Oh, Omega stuff all over the place. Unlock door. Why would the sickbay door be locked? Maybe it can be overridden. The console's also locked out, but maybe the emergency medical hologram can answer some questions. Computer, activate the emergency medical hologram. Please state the nature hey, of the medical emergency. Please state the nature Doctor, of the medical I emergency. Like the Can you ever the door lock out for me? Mm -mm -mm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? First, I need to make sure you're Dual not Dual angel with the diamond! Thank you so much, my friend. Injuries. This will only take a moment. How are you feeling now, mate? I'm fine, Doctor. Really, I need to get to engineering. Don't be difficult. I'm only doing my job. Engineers and captains, always in a hurry to Doctor, get out of Doctor, it's crucial that I leave sickbay. I need to find Tuvok. You're not going anywhere. Doctor. Doctor's orders. Can you hear me? Come speak to me at the desk terminal. 
I can hear you. Why is it saying Omega everywhere? The mine meld was successful. Excellent. I am currently trapped in the ready room. For the moment, I will only be able to communicate with you remotely. Cooper is working to subvert my mental defenses, and I must focus my concentration on keeping my mind. So I need intact. to liberate you from your ready room. No. Cooper is trying to erode my emotional control. Symbolically, this means that he must destroy Voyager. To do so, he is attempting to overload the warp core. You must proceed to engineering to stop Cooper from destabilizing the warp core. If he is successful, he will have broken down my mental control systems. Once the core and my mind are protected from Cooper's attacks, then we can take control of this mindscape. Take the pad from the doctor's office. I will use it to communicate with you. Why do I need the pad? Why don't I use communicators? Remember, objects have symbolic significance in this mindscape. As an outsider in my mind, your ability to communicate with me directly is limited. Your communicator is part of your mind, and so it cannot interact with me directly while Cooper tries to keep us separated. The pad is part of my mind, so I can use it to... Strange, but I suppose we don't have time to get into the metaphysics of this. Alright, uh, let's... The mind meld was six. No. Good. Now we will be able to remain in contact. Proceed to engineering. Oh. Cooper is attempting to subvert my mental defenses by replacing my memories with engrams from his bioship. Until he is expelled, these kinds of incursions will continue. You may see strange items or distortions in your surroundings. Ignore them and proceed as best you can. Remember Kiri Kintha's first law of metaphysics. Nothing unreal exists. Cooper is trying to overload the warp core. You must Head keep to the it warp stable. Core. This isn't right. The mindscape is a simulacrum. Cooper may move elements to suit his needs, or try to stop you. Certain areas may be blocked or damaged, or even transformed. Do your best to reach your destination. Cooper cannot simultaneously attack an area and conceal it. What are you doing here? Ensign! What are you doing here? This area is very dangerous. Where's the chief core is unstable. <laughs> Vilana, I don't know. She should be here, but as far as I can tell, everything on Voyager is about to fall apart, and I'm the only one here. Stay back. I'm going to put a force field around the core while I try to stabilize it. It won't contain a core breach, but it might block some of the radiation if the magnetic I stabilizer stop. I can stop the core breach. Let me assist. I've almost got this. Just keep back. It will Ensign, only take a few more minutes. Solve this more effectively if we work together. You are stupid, aren't you? Only people the Vulcan melded with should be here. Not everyone on Voyager is part of Tuvok's warped little subconscious. Some of us are far more. Ensign Kim, step away from the warp core controls. I'll destroy you and Tuvok's mind with you. Oh, grenade. He has raised control. defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. He has I have raised defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles well, of course to press safe your attack. Is. Stabilize, defenses. stabilize. Excellent. Ooh. With my mental defenses stabilized, we should have additional time to fend off Cooper's intrusion. Head to the crew decks. Inside of my memories exist fragments of personalities from any person with whom I have previously experienced a mind melt. You 
may be able to find someone whose personality is not wholly part of my mind and thus not susceptible to Okay, I'll influence. find someone to help on the crew decks. Oh, look at that. Warp calls return to normal. Good to know. Move through the crew decks to your right. You may be able to find a fragment of a personality who can help. People with whom I have previously melted have left impressions of their katras in my mind. You may be able to convince one to assist you. Because they are not technically me. Cooper's ability to subvert I'll keep an eye out for anyone who might be able to help. Oh, stuck. Captain's quarters? Wait, you're not the captain. What is happening? What am I doing here? Who are you? I require specifics. Voyager is in danger for species 8472. We need to liberate two of our keys being held locked in the ready room. I have no reason to trust you, but this seems familiar somehow. Why am I in the crew quarters? I should be Tuvok in my regeneration now. Yeah, you can communicate through this pad. Seven, you are currently experiencing an engrammatic regress as a result of a Vulcan mind melt. You must assist me in reasserting control over the meld. I am currently locked in the ready room next to the bridge. Exercise caution as species 8472 has Get to the bridge and help you lock. That ain't over. What about this one? Oh! That is Borg technology. But the presence of the Collective will not dissuade us. Assimilation is irrelevant. Simulated undine. Simulated undine. It may be a reflection of the unconscious fears of or species. Or something that's already happened. Ooh, there you go. You cannot stop me. For I am D Live. Oh. You're here. Let's just get this over with. Taking damage detected. Wow! I just got blasted through the bulkhead. Are defeated. Well, damn it. Great. I will secure the bridge while you release Okie dokie. Tuvok! Hey Tuvok! So good to see you. My little happy dance. With Cooper defeated, he should no longer be able to maintain the telepathic link with my mind. For the time being. We must end the mind meld and consider our next course of action. Now that we have removed Cooper's influence, it is time to break the link between he I and agree. myself. It's time to end this. Leave the meld. Oh, hey, Tuvok. With Cooper's attack temporarily halted, we are in a position to slow the advance of his Undine forces. Please accompany the way, me to the Admiral. bridge. Wait, she looks different. We still do not have a fix on Cooper's whereabouts. 
I will contact Starfleet for any current information about Undine movements. Use the sensors to check for their quantum signatures. Voyager's sensor array is currently calibrated for tracking Undine movements, so you should be able to garner results I'll handle quickly. the sensors. Omega protocol in effect. You should return to your ship. While I am somewhat fatigued as a result of the mind melt, I believe that I can continue in my duties on Voyager while we plan to welcome getting steps. an air from operations. The Omega protocol lockdown is in effect. We must still be in the meld. Cooper is trying to deceive us. He needs to break the link cleanly, but lacks the what strength to confront us directly. You don't belong here. Oh. Everyone is dead. Too bad. We should use the link to our advantage. If we can track Cooper through the link, we can then pursue him in the physical realm. Since the Mindscape deals in symbolic representations, we need a map to his location. We should Let's proceed go. to Astrometrics. Oh, disappeared. Oh, you're back again. No more lift to Astrometrics. Cooper is trying to block your progress. Look for another path. Console definitely wasn't here before. Oh, there it is. Cooper is attempting to distort your path again. Oh, hello. Keep searching. Cooper's definitely trying to send a message, I'd say. Hey, Tuvac, how's it going? So, I'm just wandering around trying to find astrometrics. I sense we are making progress. Keep searching. You explored the dream logic of the mindscape. Uh, that's a big hole. Oh my gosh, hello. Uh, Tuvok, if you could come give me a hand here, that'd be great. Unlock astrometrics. Engage mind not unlock. Charge flume capacitor. Ow! Enemy targets on sensors. Charging flume capacitor. Descale herring. Oh, blimey. Ah, Tuvok, finally. Alright, I'm just gonna get back to descaling my herring. Recouple the decouplifier. In 2375, Voyager encountered a malfunctioning board vinculum that had been turned into a trap by species 6339. This vinculum caused other personalities from the collective to surface in Seven of Nine. I entered a mind meld with her in an attempt to stabilize her personality. These people are echoes uh, of the personalities I of people see. assimilated by the Borg. They are not truly aware, knowing only that they desire to escape. It may be helpful to think of them as ghosts. I'm not afraid of no ghost. Cool. 
Quinta Voyage is largely the location of the two volumes previous to my memory 7 and 9, where she suffered the forced intrusion of other minds taken by the Borg into her consciousness. The event was caused by her proximity to a damaged vingulum and is now consistent with influence from the Undine. After Voyager left the sober system early in its journey home, Tuvok experienced a traumatic moment with crewman Lon Suda. At this time, Voyager had not yet encountered the Undine. Voyager encountered a Class 17 Nebula in 2373. At this time, Tuvok was suffering from an engromantic virus and entered a mind meld with Captain Janeway so that the Captain could help him trace and resolve the source of the virus, which extended to his tenure aboard the Excelsior and the Captain Sulu. This is not related to the Undine incursion. Check when we have Necrid Expanse. Necrid Expanse is an area of the edge of Borg space. It is located near an unstable corridor the Undine used to make incursions to our dimension. Quantum singularities in the area of space make it easily subject to incursion by the Undine. Logic suggests that this would be an ideal location for them to use as a fleet staging area. Time to end the meld. Let's go find Cooper. There. We have him. Cooper has broken the link. The meld can end. Talk to you, Doc. This ordeal has taxed me mentally, but I must continue the mission. I have learned that Cooper is in fluidic space, in an area that corresponds to the location known in our dimension as the Northwest Passage. We must travel there and enter fluidic space to confront Cooper once more. He is aboard a special command bioship oh. that he cannot abandon. If we catch him in fluidic space, we can force a final confrontation. Mm -hmm. Please join me on the bridge. I must focus my concentration on regaining my strength. I need you to enter our destination coordinates and make certain that there are no more surprises. Lead the way, Tuvok. Plot a course for the Northwest Passage. Ah, yeah, she's got the right. Did you two have a good time? Voyager will join you in the Northwest Passage. We'll leave as soon as you've returned to your ship. We need to Let's hurry go. if we want to catch Cooper. Let's get back to my vessel. This area of space was labeled by Commander Chakotay as the Northwest Passage. It is a corridor of space that the Borg avoid because of the high incidence of quantum singularities, which the Undine use as points of transit. Voyager encountered the passage in 2373, and Captain Janeway chose to use it to travel through Borg space. This precipitated our first contact with what Species need to do? 472 We must locate a quantum singularity that will lead us into the correct Oi. area of fluidic space. My suspicion is that Cooper is using this region as a staging ground for the massed Undine fleet, and his command bioship will be there as well. Approach each singularity and check its quantum wave signature. When we find the correct one, we will pass through. We'll probably have to engage the Undine ships first, and then scan the singularities. Oh, okay, let's go and scan a quantum singularity. As we do. Oh, scan another one. Take 
Got it. This passage will work quickly. Oh, I'm already all about it. The portal. Even though I'm, I appear to be walking in a completely wrong direction, I'm all about going in it. We need to reach Cooper's command bioship. According to my scans, he is using a modified dreadnought as a control vessel. Intriguing. Cooper's bioship appears to have nerve clusters, gyri, and structures typically associated with brain matter. While most bioships are organic, they are not aware. Rather, they are biological tissue operated by the Undine as tools. Cooper's vessel is different. It is possible that the Ooh, ship is self-aware. This would explain the increase in Cooper's telepathic abilities. Not only is his command bioship able to coordinate the entire Undine fleet, acting as a brain for the other ships, but it also yeah, amplifies his psionic power. We must gain access to the ship directly. We will need to temporarily disable its shielding mantle so we can fire upon vulnerable Find and disable to disable ship. it. Hmm. You've come a long way, but as you can see, I am not unprepared for your arrival. <laughs> This command bioship is unique. It is capable of coordinating an entire fleet of bioships. A fleet that will launch from the structures you see here. Even if you attack me, I suspect you will find the sheer power of my new fleet to be overwhelming. We're not defeated yet. Though I don't seem to be moving. All right, what am I firing on? Disrupt the shield. I am disrupting. Disruption is going on. I don't know if I want to go. I can't actually see him. The command bio ship is weakened. We must beam aboard and locate right, let's do it. while it is possible. Rear shields failing. Get onto the bio ship. We are close to Cooper's position, but the bio ship is blocking transport in the area closest to the central nexus. We must find control nodes that will allow us to enter the Nexus. As the ship is organic, we may be able to force it open by sending impulses through certain nerve endings, thereby causing a reflex reaction. Find the control Much nodes, like open sneeze. central Nexus. Got it. Undine are coming down from the ceiling. Ah, uh, uh, you know. Everyone fire on everything. 
Ooh, we're going infinity level box. The muscles controlling this passage will not release. We will need to find control ganglia we can use to trigger a reflex response and open the door. This has to be near here. It is. I saw one. I have no idea what any of that just did. It looked cool. Oh, grenade. Run! Ooh, small shield charge. Oh, look at my little pet. It's now running around with me. Alright, let's check my inventory. Actually, no, I want to do that. Oh, there's my shield. Got it. Cooper should be in the chamber just if beyond this, ship this has door. A mind, can you not convince it to fight? To not? Can you convince it to not fight us? An intriguing notion. I shall make the attempt. You must protect me from Cooper and his soldiers while I concentrate on the mine melt. When you are ready, I'm ready. You Start shall the proceed. melt. Time when you're ready. The ship is resistant to melt. I must move oh. to another neural cluster. That's just typical. Protect me from undine attacks. Yeah, I, 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 I'd love to. Um, just that I died. Um, it was a thing that happens occasionally. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. Yeah, they seem to have a bit. You must protect me from undine attacks like. while I concentrate. You must protect me from undine attacks yeah, fine. while I concentrate. You do that. I got this. Just focus on what you're doing. The ship is resisting the melt. Must move to another neural Great. cluster. Uh, any idea where that might be? Oh, I'm guessing right here. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. Wow. Okay, I died. 
that was quite an impressive weapon. Where are you, Tuba? You must protect me from undue oh, attacks sort of while I concentrate. Aha! I think we did it. What is happening? You! you oh, I'm just standing there with the gun My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. The weak will perish. Why should we listen to the weak? You will perish when the Iconians complete their purge. To the Iconians, you are weak. We must survive. When we fight one another, we are weak. United, we are strong. No! Don't listen to him! We must see to our needs. The needs of the many outweigh yeah, the needs of the few. Bio Dreadnought has no intention of entering our space. Now we must return to our ships before the Undine retreat to their own fortresses in fluidic turn. space. Turn to the Gini. Three to beam up. Let's go. Let's do this. There are no signs of Undine pursuit. Whatever the intent of the remaining Undine forces, it seems that they do not involve our dimension. As a Vulcan, I am not given to personal displays. Nonetheless, we have shared a deep connection. We will always carry a part of this experience sure. with us. In a sense, you have become a portion of my mental defenses. Part of the ship and crew that define the most challenging aspects uh, of my existence. Thing? Our shared effort has prevented another Undine invasion. And incidentally, well, allowed always me to retain thing. my sanity. Your contributions are appreciated. I must advise Starfleet Command of these developments. I am sure we will speak again. Until then, I am confident that events in the Delta Quadrant Farewell, are in capable Admiral. hands. Yeah, let's get out of here. Felt that Delta Quadrant Command. With Cooper gone, the Undine won't have a leader pushing them toward war with our forces. I wonder why he was so set on this conflict. We still don't know exactly how long Cooper had been replaced by an Undine, or if the original Cooper is still alive. Perhaps this Undine saw something during his time among us that convinced him that the only way to secure the safety of his people uh, was to destroy ours. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Remember the Zindi attack on Earth in the 22nd century? They were told by the Sphere Builders that they had to destroy Earth to save themselves. It turned out that Sphere Builders were using the Zindi as a tool in their own destructive plans. We know the Iconians have manipulated the Undine. Maybe they were the ones oh, pushing possibly. Cooper to attack. Hello, congratulations. Oh, have time Not to right now, but give me a second. I will be right there. I've just got to... Uh... Ooh, we're going to the line up. Get some on the drain expertise. Let's quickly go through duty officers. Got some more Thoron particles, so there's that. Oh. 
Let's see what we've got in here. Who should have this? Flores, you should have that. Oh my word, we got some awesome weapons coming in now. And you know what? You can have one as well. Sweet. Oh, damn it. Uh, I'll discard that. Discard that. I have got... Oh! Level 48 anti-proton turret. Yes, please. We're looking, we're looking good. I, I'm very happy with how things are right now. All right, let's get rid of some more of these. I've got my anti-proton turret, which will be awesome, actually. Actually, I might do that. All right, we're looking good. Don't have a try cobalt, which is really annoying because they sound awesome. So I've got the shields that my guys have got. I seem to have quite a lot. Alright. Next mission. Ooh, hello. Hello. Would you have time yes. to look into something for me? Our first task in the Delta Quadrant is a familiar one: helping a species to find a new home. A group of Talaxians living in the Entaba system are ready to move to a new homeworld nearby. Admiral Tuvok and Voyager have gone ahead to their main asteroid base to begin the preparations oh my word. for the transition. The Admirals requested your presence as well. You two work well together. I recommend you take advantage of his expertise. There's no one who knows more about the Delta Yo. Quadrant than he does. Hello. Would So I want your battery, anti-proton, satellite disruptor, fill us down around about. Yeah. They're looking good. Let's keep going. Things are looking very good. I haven't got time to assist on a comp and freighter. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm on an important mission. So what are we about to help you? It's fine. <laughs> right. Arrived in the entire system, sir. Our orders are to rendezvous with Admiral Tuvok on Voyager, setting a course for their coordinates now. Voyager is under attack by the Kazon. Engines are offline. Request Got it. assistance. Time to make repairs. 
However, I have a personal request. The leader of the Talaxian colony served with me on Voyager. Of course, I'm willing to take me there. Over at your convenience. This base is populated by Talaxians. My shipmate from Voyager, Neelix, joined them before they moved to this location. The Talaxians have been looking for a new homeworld for quite some time, and now they have found one. The Alliance's history with the relocation of the Romulans will be invaluable in this process. Starfleet! Oh, what a thrill! It's so wonderful to see someone from the Federation again. It's been so long, and, and, and I keep in touch with my friends, but subspace isn't the same, and I... As you listen to me, I'm rambling on. My name is Neelix, and I serve as Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. Before that, I spent seven years on the USS Voyager with Captain Admiral Janeway. Janeway. She was promoted some time ago. Admiral Janeway? Of course! She certainly earned that promotion. My link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be until the Janolan Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now we get all sorts of news, but yours is the first ship to visit. I, uh, I may make a trip to Earth myself sometime, sample the cuisine, but that will have to wait until after the colonization. I barely have a minute to myself yeah, anymore. about There's the so colonization? Oh, you've come to help? How wonderful! I but of course, Starfleet's always pitching in to help out, aren't they? Why, in all my years as ambassador to the Delta Quadrant, I've done everything I could to uphold the good name of the Federation. I don't always have the resources to do more than diplomatic visits, but we try to help out anyone we can, whenever we can. There are Ocampo ships out there right now, did you know that? My people are helping them explore I'm sure the, the Federation stars. appreciates your efforts on its behalf, but could we get back to the colonization efforts? Oh, where are my manners? You must be tired and thirsty after your long journey. Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but, but if I could impose on you just for a small favor first. The case on Nistrum have been giving us a lot of trouble lately. We've constructed some shield generators to protect the base, but the case on keep knocking them offline and all my shuttles are prepping for the colonization. Could you reactivate the shields for us? Wonderful! Just fly to the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that shouldn't be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. I'll start making some nicely old. We start three shots for you. Got it. I. <coughs> Excuse me. Threw, flew a bit too quick there, actually. Going a bit slower this time. God damn, son. I'm literally on top of them. Like, seriously, I don't know where else to go. It's gonna fly around the freaking. We got this, we got this. Finally. First complete, in case I managed to short out the main EPS conduits, but I was able to reroute power through secondary relays. Good. Don't really care how you do it, just do it, that'd be great. 
Yeah, unless you're angling for a promotion or something. Minimal damage. Oh, it is the satellites we're supposed to be going after. I hope it's all set up with Pierce's uh, shielding systems going back online now. Thank you so much for your assistance. You may beam down to our base at your leisure. Oh, and speaking in my formal capacity as permanent ambassador, welcome Thank to you. the Delta Quadrant. Yeah, let's beam down to the base. Let's go meet Nulix. So good to meet you in person. View screens are so impersonal, don't you think? May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Indeed. It is agreeable to see you again, Neelix. What a wonderful surprise! C come, my friends, like we have so much to clear, discuss. Even though I've got a mouthful of water. You look well, Neelix. As do you, family, children. Being here has changed me for the better. Indeed. This colony is an improvement on your previous home. Twice as large and completely updated. You should oh, see the kitchen. Neelix does like a good kitchen. But you still seek a new homeworld? <laughs> Of course, children need sun and open skies. A place to put down roots. What was that? So the case on returned almost as soon as you chance put down, we drove them off, but they got a lucky shot on the base before they left. Sensors are showing some structural damage in the operations bay. Acknowledged, inform me if the case on return. The operations bay? Run. Dexter was in there! Hurry up, Neelix. Get us trapped! Please do something! Hey! Dex is a little dizzy, but she'll be fine. I, I have to stay with her, though. I'm afraid I must impose on your kindness again. Several of our systems were damaged in the attack, and I can't help, help fix them what just can I do? now. Several of our systems are malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships My all pleasure. have been damaged. All right, let's go fix stuff. One down. Let's go! We have many things to fix. Yeah, let's just scan this for now. We repair for the secondary relays. Electro plasma flow. Isolating the chip, make it straight. <laughs> yep, that. Now, damage fuses.
console repairs complete. Crane. Right, where's this fourth one that needs repairing? Them? I'm going nuts. There isn't anything here. Anybody see anything else that's broke that needs fixing? not going bonkers, it's just... Alright, I'm just going to try logging out and logging back in again. Because that has a tendency to work. So I'm going to have to go through that whole thing again, and I have the greeting, and oh well. Never mind. It's weird, did it? Ooh. I think we're close to getting another ship. That'd be nice. Oh, okay. Brought me right back here. Clearly, that didn't work. Indeed, it was close. Aha! It didn't lie to me. I just had to use the uh, table lift. Autoist frequency outputs model is 8.4 terahertz. I see didn't exactly hold me by the hand on that one, that's why I got confused. Tuvok looking very concerned. 
Thank you so much. Everything seems to be working properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. Is Would you care to accompany me? Oh, it looks like two bikes coming as well. Like two bikes just storming ahead. Who is the person I need to speak to? You! Ah, Kallax. I need help loading this ship. Mannix was supposed to help me, but now I can't find him, and I can't reach him on internal comms. I know he hasn't left the station yet, though. Could you look around and find tell him that his ship has started? Do that. The lack of discipline among the Talaxians is alarming. Manix. Greetings, friend. I'm helping Kalax. What can I do for you? Workers for the shift. Really? I was scheduled to work now, but I traded shifts with Oxel so I could meet a friend who's returning from a long trading mission. Find Oxel. He you. should be able to help you. I've known Menix for many years now. If he says he traded shifts, All right, so I believe let's go him. Talk to Oxen. There's the guy over there with the floating eye above his head. Oxil. I, I don't believe we've met yet. I'm Oxil, and you must be one of Neelix's visitors from the Alpha Quadrant. It's Perhaps a pleasure to meet you. supposed to be working you. the cargo loaders right now. Menix said he traded shifts with you. Th that's right. But then I beat Drexa in a game of Cot is Cot, and she agreed to work the shift for me. Thank you. You should find her. Betting work shifts on a game of Cot is Cot is extremely oh, unprofessional. Drexa, I know you got a bit battered earlier. Hi there. I'm Drexa. Oh, I heard you Drexa, say Drexa, Dexa's Drexa. life. Don't Those Kazon are always bothering us. I wish they'd just find some place else to go. Is there something I can Trying do? Trying to find supposed to be working the cargo loaders. Oxo said you lost a game of Kalaska to him and agreed to work his shift as payment. Oh yes, that's right. I worked his shift though. Check the duty roster. Thank it should all be there. Drexa never worries about the details, but she's one of the nicest people I know. Examine the duty roster, dude. If this was happening on a starship, you'd be in the brig. This watch shows that Drexler did work shift for Oxil, but she worked Oxil's original shift rather than the time mark for Menix's shift. Oh, it's you again. I did checked you the find roster. what you need? Oxil had traded shifts with Menix, so when you did Oxil's shift, you were actually supposed to work Menix's shift. Really? Um, but I worked the Don't shift go. that was in the duty roster. Uh, yes, and I checked the duty Drexa? roster. It wasn't updated with your trade with Manix, so Drexa did your original shift by mistake. Oh, what a goof! I told her I traded shifts with Manix. At, at least I think I did. Does that mean both Menex and Drexa I'll showed up for my shift? Blind. Hey there! I talked to Oxo, and he told me what happened. Yes, did you find Drexa? Roster. Drexa was supposed to, to do your shift to repay her debt to Oxo, but did his original shift by mistake, but where were you? Oh, that explains it. I showed up for the shift a bit late, but Kalix said she already had enough workers and I could go back to my quarters. Normally, I would be happy to work, but my friend will be back any time now. That's why I traded Let's shifts see. in the first place. Uh, this is going to be an interesting conversation. 
Did you Medic said he traded Medic? a shift from Oxil. Drexel lost a bit to Oxil and took the shift as payment. But Drexel did Oxil's original shift by mistake instead of Manix's. So when Manix showed up to work Oxil's shift, you told him he had enough help and that he could leave. Sounds like quite a series of miscommunications. But I still need help here. What do you think I should do about it? Make Manix do it. Hello, astrometric scientist. Oh, hello. The name's just appeared. Guess we're going up the turbo lift. Hello, astrometric scientist Nilaxia. I need to scan the route we'll take to the colony. But the Kazon attack has damaged our astrometric system. All it will tell me is how far off I am from our target position. I feel like I'm taking shots in the dark. Uh, yes. Would you be willing to help me? By adjusting the sensor array's pitch, up and down, and yaw, pitch, yaw left and right, up, down, you left, can point right. the Let's array at the target. Down. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Uh, be sure not to overshoot the target location. The array will All be right, useless if that happens. Adjust the pitch, yaw, and force. Target must be within one kilometer for safe. Okay, here we go. Five. Go to five. Change the force. Four, three, two, one. Helix. I can't thank you enough for your help. Dex is going to be fine. The doctor says she'll be up and around in no time. I need to return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. Certainly. The Talaxians have much to do. Ready to beam up? I am ready to beam up. I love the fact that two of just like... Oh, there's Voyager. Get us within transporter range. Thank you for all you have done for the Talaxians. I believe that they will be a valuable ally to us in the days ahead. That would not have been possible without your assistance. I am confident we will see one another again. Until then. Peace and long life to you, Admiral. Our ships are ready to depart. Travel to the staging area to join no us way, in our new adventure. Are you ready to depart for new Talax? So I'm detecting extremely high radiation levels in the system, too high for a normal dispersed pattern. I'll investigate further. But first, Neelix is heading us with the selection transport vessel. Are you detecting the theta radiation spikes? Those levels have been normal and steady for weeks now. We'll check it out. You stay here with the fleet.
So the Pittsburgh High Mount Federation around the planet. Our scans indicate they was recently placed here. It should not be an issue for us to remove them. We would have to deal with whoever dumped the radiation in the first place. Needy, do you have an idea who did this? Theta radiation could mean only one thing. The Malon. They lack the technology to recycle antimatter waste, which has led them to develop an entire industry around dumping Theta radiation in various areas. We can't survive on new Talax if the Malon are going to use it as their I'll personal garbage this. dump. Three Malon frigates. Unknown vessel. This site is claimed by the Malon. Go find your own. It's a maximum to claim site. this system. You need to find another place to dump your waste. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the to find the Talaxians have been searching for years for a planet like their homeworld. We could assist you to find another dump site. Mainline of Cut Communications, sir. They're powering up weapons, but they're not a match for Bikini. Red alert. Target their engines, destroying their ships, so they make the radiation worse. So it's just affecting re main on reinforcements on an intercept course. Battleship inbound. We took out the crew, so then we took out the frigate, and now we're going to take out the battleship. Anyone else want to try and uh, take us on while we're here? I'm up for a fight. Let's go. Enough! You've ruined me. Wrecked my ship. At least find another spare place to dump life. the trash. The Malon are gone, but the radiation is still around. Oh, what can we do? This would have been a Perfect home world, but we can't live here if the radiation is going to affect the can entire planet. Easily remove the radiation. Give us a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Wrong button. Thank 
Thank you so much for all of your help. You are a true friend to me and to the Talaxian people. Your crew will always be welcome on Utalix. And good luck in your voyages. It's been I a pleasure, Nelix. Best soon. of luck to you and your people. The Malons were causing problems? Hmm, I'll make a note of that. Hopefully they'll just be a minor inconvenience. Admiral Janeway wasn't very impressed by them. Neelix has sent word that the migration of the Talaxians is going smoothly. We've sent several ships to ensure they're protected from any more Malon incursions. Our first venture into the Delta Quadrant appears to be a success. One, but I'll let it slide. Ooh, we are here. This is maximum shields, all damage resistance. Ooh, torpedo weapon damage. Hello. Congratulations. Would you have time? So we've been here, Admiral Quinn. Congratulations, Admiral. You've conquered yet another milestone in your journey through Starfleet. You still have challenges ahead of you, but I'm confident that you'll be able to do anything you set out to do. Good luck. Thank you, Admiral. Alright. Let's get this, putting this onto my... Uh, Beam weapon transfer to a torpedo weapon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've got some. Ooh. So, do a basic upgrade, that'll do basic kits, and this does, okay. So, engines, engineering, concepts. Alright, let's see what I can get around to upgrading, because at the moment, I could really do with upgrading this one. Oh, yes, perfect. That's better. See what it actually gave me. Oh, there we go. Oh, capacity, shield capacity. Yes. All right, guys, give me a second. I'm just gonna go and quickly grab myself a drink, and then we'll carry on with the next uh, next mission. So, give me a second.
No. Hey, here we go. Alright. I'll be back. So I'm having issues on the microphone. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, everything is now sorted. We are in a good position. Alright. Oh, skills. Oh, wow. I got a more skills. Woo! Alright. Expertise. What's this? Improved drain expertise. Alright, we got that one already. Shield hardness. Shield hardness. Improved shield hardness. Oh, yeah. Well, some more. Oh, I got loads of that. Let's do loads more of that. Alright. Ground skills. Ooh. Uh, Overwatch 3. And. Proof of some shield. Oh, all my trace. Oh no, my trace back. All right. Uh, assault weapon protection for that. Resist, hold, snap. Okay, perfect. Personal space trace. Uh, increased hull regeneration. Oh yeah, we're all about that. Definitely got to be all about that. All right. How are we looking? I think we're looking good now. All right. We've received a distress call from the USS Callisto, which was on a research mission in a little explored area of the Delta Quadrant. We're not sure what happened to the Callisto, but we need someone to check it out. There are a lot of people on the Callisto, good Starfleet officers and researchers. Bring them home. Hello. Would you have time to look into We're something for me? Got transwarping abilities. That's gonna make things go a lot quicker. Actually, I could just transwarp straight to it. a trans warp within a trans warp. It's probably going to like end the universe or something. What the hell happened here? Revelations. So we write the location to just come to Callisto. We're no longer receiving the stress beacon, but sensors are picked up to be consistent with the Lunar Class Federation Starship. Might be survivors. Scan the wreckage. No look, Captain. Sensors are reading lessons in the wreckage. The Callisto had a crew count of 350. Unfortunate. Can we notify who attacked her? So we have an incoming message. It's from the outpost station. Let's see what they have to say. This is Seven of Nine, part of a Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated. Seven, this is Admiral Live at the USS Guinea. We responded as soon as we could. Of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost's defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will have more a lot assistance to there. Long-range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. They must Indeed. lay claim to this system. Attention trespassing endotherms. 
You are trespassing in fourth aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives. We will not be made into world. your prisons. Oh wow, that ripped them. Maybe the uh, extra little thing I've got. Nice. I got ya. Oh my word, there's a lot more. Ah, uh, we got fighters and a cruiser. Going him. Some resistance! Not much, but I got a little. Transmission are engaging their warp drive. Oh, where are they going? It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. That is odd. So, we are receiving a distress signal from the Terray homeworld. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Terray homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate exactly the assistance. Terrain. The Terray are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the Underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the Underspace would be a distinct advantage. Do you think the Vath are the ones who attacked the Terray? They left so quickly. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Terray are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not Perhaps know a show about the good faith would be important. Alright, let's get to the Terray homeworld. We have arrived in the Terray system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging Terray vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known Whatever they are, they're packing quite a punch. Correct. Whoever these assailants are, their technology is exceptional. Even the Borg do not have ships such as these. One of the ships is broken off and is moving in our direction. Wow. The debris from the fire ship is falling, leading massive damage to the planet's surface. 
the Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. The Voth and whomever they are... Your defense of... The Tere and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Then you will be loyal to the They're not even attempting death. to negotiate. The surface of the Tere homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Tere do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them. But the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore right, the control go. network. Are you coming down with the seven? Loading terrain defense grid station. Oh, hey. The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread so we get the devastation. Back online. Give the Terrae a fighting chance. Let's go. There was a firefight here. One of the Terrae is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information. We'll help him, and maybe he can answer some questions. Not sure why I just did that. Made the mumble. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from Starfleet. Yes, you like to know what right? happened here? The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls, and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit Who were the a distress signal. We couldn't identify the ships. The attackers were Vodwar! Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. All of this destruction, every death, it's all Vodwar. Voyager's fault. Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I, so, who are the I would Vodwar? know. This, this is all my fault. When we first encountered the Vodwar, they were in cryostasis. I foolishly awoke their leader in a moment of curiosity. I didn't know their history. Conquerors, despots. The Vaudoir used underspace to rule the Delta Quadrant for decades. It was only when the other races banded together that they were defeated. The time we encountered them, when I... when I awakened them, Captain Janeway said she probably would have done the same thing. But it wasn't her choice, it was mine. I am responsible. However... The Vodwar we encountered did not have a level of technology like what we face here. This is far beyond anything the Vodwar are capable of developing so in now such a short a amount of action. time. My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower Sounds to re-establish the Sounds good. Do you have any Vodwar? They won't like what we're trying to do. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization yeah, sequence. We had to ally ourselves with the Terrae to escape the Vodwar. What the hell are you? 
Barbed wire anchor joint. Now I'm going to shoot you. I'm just going to shoot you. Yeah, one of the two. My analysis of this node is complete. Execute the following Go steps on. in the correct order. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Next, you must charge reboot, the capacitive charge, relays. Finally, you must establish the satellite uplink. Reboot the core matrix. Charge the capacitive relays. Establish the satellite uplink. Connection reset. Alright, let's go. Poor drone, I want one of those. When Admiral Tuvok asked me to leave my post at the Daystrom Institute to assist the Callisto, I thought the probability of seeing Vaudois was statistically insignificant. Oh, well, what the hell? I have completed my analysis. Complete the following steps in the correct order. First, you launch must launch startup. the startup sequencers. Next, update you must defense. update the defense protocols. Finally, Line you must align relay. the main relay. Whatever happens here, we must inform our superiors about the Vagwan threat. Launch the sequences. Update the defensive protocols. Then finally, align the main relay. Uplink reaction. All right, let's go. Stay very close. Right, that's them helped. Help him! Ooh, energy and kill like a short recharge. Hey guys, let's go. Have a grenade. Oh, beam turret. Seven, get analyzing. Analysis complete. Perform these steps in the correct order. First, access you must AI. access the AI subroutines. Next, you must reinitialize re the kinetic dampeners. Finally, you must establish the...
Dun. Reinitialize kinetic dampener. I'm remembering these things. Time to initialize the satellite up. Once again. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. I blame myself for the Vaudoir's return. It was a door best left unopened. Gotcha. Seven, get analyzing. Complete these steps in the correct order to initialize and align the node. Access AI. First, you must access update the defense, next. You must up, finally, you must. I don't know where she's going. Update defense protocols. Activate the defense grid. Woo. Starfleet, I need assistance at the central tower. Hi, you called? Ah, what's up? Hey, Ballas. Your team did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and realigned to the central hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will okay. be active in about two minutes. We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the hold them off until the defense grid is completed, the whatever it's doing. The Tere took control of underspace after the Vardwar were defeated. Clearly, the Vadwar object. Grenade! Get healing. I'm still healing. Oh, massive amounts of grenades. Oh, 
Ah, damn it. Oh, I'm here. Uh, I want to heal the soldier. Anybody else need help enough? Oh, no, you got enough. Okay. Oh, who? Something's going on with that. Uh, that wasn't even a sentence. Oh, Bellis back to his feet. Somebody's still around here. Oh! So they didn't bother joining in, so they just sort of stood there and watched all their colleagues die. So, I'm messing with the Guinea, the Vardar retreat to Underspace. Even though the defense will get online, the Trey couldn't have defeated them. Why would they leave before they finish the fight? Odd. It is not odd. Oh. It is not odd. Voth reinforcements have entered orbit. These Vardar do not want to do battle with an obviously superior really? force. Really? I seem to remember the Vardar tearing your ships apart. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terrain. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. That's all that matters. Sir, the US is voyaging into orbit and the two rockets are to be down to your position. Seven of nine. Admiral. We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! Your ship invaded the Voth outpost! You woke the Vardwar! Vardwar? Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believed their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vardwar have returned. And no one is safe. I see. Seven. Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Okay. I'm Very just well. stood there. <laughs> just... We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank you. Yep. Oh, oh. Voyager, two to beam up. So now it's safe ride in Voyager and the Vardar threat on the ground here is over. Voth Commander has indicated his forces would deal with any remaining hostiles. Prepare to return to the Guinea and your command. Whew! Did it. Thank you for assisting Seven and lending aid to the Touré. However, the discovery that our old foes, the Vaudoir, have made such a leap in technology and are now threatening the entire quadrant is troubling. 
Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the Voth. Now, however, I must turn my attention to the Vodwar. I am responsible for their return. I must Until assist next in their time. defeat. Let's get out of here. Whew. I've read Admiral Janeway's mission logs from Voyager. It would be troublesome enough to have the Vadwa return in force. They're an aggressive and difficult species. But if they have technology and forces that can defeat the Voth, this does no. not bode well. Oh, Vadwa cluster torpedo. Hello. Congratulations. Would you have time to look into something right for me? Yet I've got some new duty officers, and I got a new cluster torpedo. That's good. Ooh, special editions. Your list of available specializations can be seen here. Select any of them to show details about the abilities and bonuses they offer, and to spend specialization points to advance your captain. The progress bar reflects your current specializations provide extra ability. You can assign one specialization as primary and one as secondary. All purchased abilities from your primary specialization are enabled. Only abilities from tiers 1 and 2 of your secondary specialization are enabled. Additional... If you have purchased all of... Strategist... Liking it. Okay. All right. Adaptive transphasic torpedo. Yeah, it's got a forty five second recharge on it, which I'm not. It's far too long. I know it does massive damage, but I like to fire things quickly. Don't think they have kit modules. <laughs> oh, not quite yet. Keep all my guys' specializations in this one. Oh, Admiralty. Ooh. I need a science vessel. That one should add anything. Perfect! That'll do. Alright, oh, we got Amorty on the go as well now. Woo! Alright, go to my duty officers for complete. Let's have a look. Nothing matches that. Ooh, science! Internal link drill, stuff for projectile weapons, lots of stuff for that. Alright, I think we're good. My research team, alright, where? Wrong one. Inventory assets, refined dilithium. Can use on engines, using kit frames and modules.
engines and engineering consoles. What's in my engineering consoles? I do a little bit of boost. Engine processing, shield processing, counter array. On there. Oh! 5.5 energy power system. This is looking good. We're upgrading stuff. We're doing well. I like the look of this. This is going well. End game. I think we're good. Oh, we're up to 28 percent. How many shooting for another three minutes? All right, let's do. Let's do another one. Are you familiar with Voyager's emergency medical hologram? He's quite unique, even for an old EMH Mark One. Now he holds rank in Starfleet in his own right. We've received a message that the doctor requires assistance to deal with a medical situation on an Ocampa freighter in the Shender system. He's currently en route in one of Voyager's shuttles. Normally I'd send a medical vessel, but we've seen a spike in Vadois attacks, and I want to make sure he has all the resources he'll need. Could you go to the Shender system and assist the doctor? Hello? Would you have... Absolutely I can. Let's go! Let's go! All that glitters. All that glitters. We've had a genesis, Captain. The stress signals coming from the transporter are dead ahead. But we've received no response to our hails. I'll keep trying, but perhaps our guest knows more. Merchant Metal Holocaust known as the Doctors in a nearby shed and awaiting our hail. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No nice captain to meet you too, Doctor. We've been hailing this Ocompan freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from Paranisti measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle. Yeah, it does. Board our ships inbound. Got 
missed that one out of the way. Scout vessel out of the salt vessel. Hold your fire. I am Thor, leader of the Vanguard. Interesting. I am Gaul, leader of the Vaudoir Supremacy. I apologize for the overzealousness of my soldiers. This action was not I am authorized. Alive. I'm pleased to finally meet you. It appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with yes, me? Yes, but I think talks are best on neutral grounds. That is understandable. Do you have a location in mind? There are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not I might alive. know a place. I'll be back with you in a moment. Oh, what a wonderful surprise! Hey, is there anything it's... I can do for you? need a neutral place for a diplomatic negotiation with the Vardwar. I was wondering if you could help. Diplomatic negotiations? I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant, and I would be more than happy to offer my services as mediator. As for the location, Dexa and most of our people are on New Talax now, but we still have the asteroid base in the Intaba system. It's mostly empty now, just a few cleanup crews, and the Kazon have been leaving it alone. It Asteroid base sounds perfect. Your diplomatic assistance, however, no need to trouble yourself. Find a suitable location. There's an asteroid based in the Tarbus system with the Talaxians have been using. Talaxians? Are there still Talaxian communities? How odd. The site is agreeable. Send my ship the coordinates. Coordinates sent. Talk there. I'm contacting the closest medical ship. They can investigate this further Excellent. while we meet with Gaul. So, because the Tarbus system soon as you're ready. Let's go. Let's go and have a meeting with the Vardwa. So we have arrived in the entire system. Gold ship is already here and has transported down to the base. Imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vardwa have no shame. I don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vaudoir Prime. He'll do it again. It's good to see you again so soon. If I might make a suggestion, 
I would recommend only bringing two crew members with your away team. Gaul brought four aides. You'll have the doctor and myself, and bringing more of your crew down might look like you're trying to get an advantage on him. Gaul seems very touchy. Proper protocol will be important. Uh, Are you ready down. to beam down? All right, Flores, to Val, you're with me. It's so good to see... Doctor, it's been 30 years! You haven't aged a day! Yes. It's good to see you too, Neelix. We have a bit of time before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively. Thus I began my grand adventure into the challenge of writing Klingon Opera. Oh, well. Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Now, well... We had better get going. We can talk more later. Unmitigated goal. Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? He's the one that has been serving the Vaudoir, their fabulous appetizers. Full bellies make for good conversation, I always say. He told me that Gaul is a little grumpy, but I'm sure you can handle him. Gaul is in the command room now, waiting for us. Jolax should be back soon to take Thank everyone's you. orders for the main Let's course. Speak with Gaul. Walk to the conference room. Alright, Gaul, what are you playing at? Ah, at last. I must say, your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting Indeed. is long it's overdue. Time to settle our differences. As do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you. Giving your alliance is support. Then let's try and find an accord that benefits us both. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. Turn the remaining them. tubes? The Kabali would rather watch us die and use our corpses as fuel for their unnatural corruption. Is it wrong to fight against your own extinction? Don't we have a right to survive as well? This peacefully. This war will scar the Quadrant for decades to come. There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No. We no, will but destroying not. the Kabali isn't right either. There are greatest threats in the galaxy we must face. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally. I'm not here to planet. start a war with the Kabali. <laughs> Peace. 
You know nothing of what it means to be Vodwar. You need to you understand. Mean? The Vodwar have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. <gasps> He's dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. Then we are not done. Well, that went well. <laughs> what the? Huh? Oh no. And with the entire five hours opening fire on the remaining Talaxian ships, we've sent out distress signals to every ship in range. We'll do what we can up to the Talaxians, but we can't hold out against this many ships. What happened? That's horrible. Do you think God had any intention in negotiating good faith? Or was this all an act? We've given the Talaxians all the time we can to escape. It's not looking good up here, sir. Some of the Vardar have already broken off to pursue them. Your orders? We need a tactical strike team. My location immediately. The last of the to transport launch shuttle, sir. If I do that, until things are under control, I fear anything can do with the ski. I need a scan of the base. How many Talaxians are still alive? It's going to show two large groups of Talaxians in the storage room, but this is the area, sir. But they're both doors blocked, but there are Vardar trying to get to both locations. Doesn't look good, Captain. I'm afraid you'll have enough time to rescue one group. Good luck, sir. Do your best to save the Talaxians, no matter what. Starfleet will not let any more innocents die today. I am only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm afraid you'll have you to are. go on without Make us. Sure again, Neelix. No, I'm going. I can't sit by and let the Vaudoir kill my friends. I, I won't be a burden. I promise. Stay close I have to, to do this. I'm sure your safety. Sure the safety. Let's get out of here. Take and cover. Oh, full go. Doctor, you want to get out of the way? Huzzah! What the hell's going on with me? How do we choose who to save? I don't know, Doc. We're just gonna save these guys. Because we're here. Huzzah! We've saved the hostages, but they may be safer here. Stay here until the base is clear. What about the people in logistics? I 
do our best, Ducks. But don't know if we're gonna have the time. Doc, do you wanna like pick up a phaser or something? Oh, Neelix has got a phaser. Doctor, you have to save them. These are my friends. They are beyond my help now, Neelix. I'm sorry. All right. Then we can still save the others. We have to get to the Go. shuttle in the cargo bay. Get opening. Last door open. Come on. Uh, hi. How's it going? Oh, lost all. There we go. Grenade. Oh, shot straight through. Oh my word, it's a dangerous back when you have that. I've sent a signal to the remaining Telaxians to join us here Wait for as the soon as possible. to arrive. Oh, hey, look at me being healed. More Vodwar all the way. Defend the shuttle. Oh, I seem to be raised. Still alive. More on the way. If I weren't a well, hologram, thanks, I'd be worried. Because I'm not a hologram. So I am very worried. Got him. Oh. A large number of Badwar are closing in. I'm afraid they may be too much uh, for Guys, you to can you even get the, uh... The Terrae are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. Well, thank you very much. That's timely. Here come the Bodwar. Oh ho Everybody fire! have been repelled. I would have words with you before oh, you okay. continue. Our help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the Vardwa fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. 
We will provide cover for your ship so it may drop shields to Appreciate transport the help, you. Commander. All right, we've got the dock. I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vaudoir means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? You thought me a fool who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Torey. You're the one who I did this not. goal, not me. This has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just a We did everything we could to make peace with you, Gol. You're the one who destroyed it. Reinforcements. Ah, here we go. Vardwar in the area. There it is. Oh, it's a big ass cruiser. Not allow the Bodwar to escape. Oh, hey, boy, let's go. Okay. 
Got it. Come on. to our aid when the Vaudoir attacked our home world. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges Thank you for your assistance. Perhaps we can be allies. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We've done nothing but welcome them. And he just... He killed my friends just to make a statement. I, I don't understand how anyone would be I'm so callous. So I don't blame you. I agreed to let the Vaudoir come here. I put my people in danger. This is my responsibility. I just never conceived that even the Vaudoir could be so treacherous. They double-crossed us on Voyager and tried to take the ship, but slaughtering innocent people. My time on Voyager changed me. I saw the best that people could be. I forgot, or wanted to forget, how oh, evil then, they could Neelix, be. Neelix, I promise you the girl will face justice for what he's done. With your permission, I'll lead the survivors back to New Talix. Then we can return with a security force to Farewell, collect the dead. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system, but it was empty. It was all a ruse by the Vaudoir to lure us into that system. Everything was part of this play Gaul wanted to perform, from the initial distress call to his intervention and offer to negotiate. And then, he used a massacre to set his stage. That's the kind of man he is. And unless he stopped, the entire no, quadrant sir, may fall. That, Gaul has shown his true nature. I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problems with the Vaudoir. Now the war will continue. I grieve for all who have been lost. And for those who will fall we have before to try, this conflict Admiral. ends. Senseless, meaningless death. I'll never understand. I hope Neelix and his people will be able to find some peace. And that Gaul will answer for his crimes. And I hope our paths cross again. Perhaps under better circumstances next time. With your permission, Mission I'll granted. return to Voyager. Farewell, Doctor. It has been an honor. So I suppose so for now, and surviving to actions, I'm making the way to New Talon. Shall we depart? Yeah. Gaul's actions were unconscionable. A senseless slaughter simply to make a point. And he wanted your sympathy. It's clear from your reports he had no intention of making peace, and that he would have twisted anything you said to meet his own agenda. He's a warmonger, and yes. that must be stopped. Peace with the Vaudois will not be attained through gold, but we'll keep looking for another way. 
Perhaps there's someone else out there who will be more reasonable. Hello? Congratulations. Would you have time to look Not into right now, I'm afraid, Commander, because I have to stop streaming. Alright, let's have a quick look, see what we've got. Oh, I've got quite a few things here, actually. Alright. Let's do my transfers of projectile weapon damage. Don't want that. Take a look at that in a minute. Take a look at that in a minute. Personal image. Guys, something. You can have that one. Oh, you got a nine. You can have an X. Yeah, you can have the X as well. And X as well. Yeah, why not? Oh, we got an extra officer slot. Medium hard and strong buff. Yes. teams but you might as well have some stuff while we're at it sweet all right uh what else have i got to do uh where's my photo made Ooh. So I wanted heels. Oh, hello. Yeah, we we'll use that. Uh, tactical. Twenty-two point five, eighteen point eight. Trans phaser projectile weapon damage. Don't have a try over there, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Alright. Let's clear out some of this that I'm not gonna need. And I think we're good for the day. Let's go at that. Let's go at that. Let's go at that. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at the shields. I don't think anything's gonna get close to that though. No. No one's gonna get close. Discard stuff that I don't need. Ooh! You want some minigum? I think we're looking good on the minigun side. Alright, discard, discard, discard. Alright, you know what? I think I'm done. I think that's everything. Alright guys, I am going to head off. Thank you very much everyone again for today. It's been an amazing, amazing day of streaming. Thank you so much. I'll be back Tuesday. Oh, well, there'll be no streams at all tomorrow, not even tomorrow evening. Uh, tomorrow's bank holiday, so I'm going to spend that with Sarah. And I'm off all next week, so I'll be doing a lot of um, streaming and whatnot then. So I'll see you guys Tuesday with something. You guys take care. You are awesome. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.